Here is the exploded view of the desk, including all the components. The first step in assembling this structure is to glue up the two end units consisting of the legs and sides. Select then move the four legs and two sides over to the right down the red axis. Bundle the pieces so they are closer. Now connect the units that match up the mortise and tenon joints. The skirts or sides are flush with the outer faces of the legs. There is no recess. Connect the move copy tool to common connect points or junctions. Since the outer corners of the legs are rounded, proper clamping is more difficult. To help with the alignment during clamping, I made temporary connectors for jo joining these two assemblies before the glue up. The connectors are components, so I'll bring them into the model from the component dialog box. Here is the back connector. and the front connector is here. Now slide them into the respective mortises in the legs. To install the back connector I'll turn on x-ray so that I can ensure proper connection to the hidden leg mortise. Temporarily group the right hand components. Then pull the group over to the connectors. Also make a group of the left hand components as this will come in handy later. This completes stage one of the gluing process. Now to the next stage of gluing which includes the middle framework. Select the pieces and bring them over to the right for assembly. I'll delete the labels. Start by placing the drawer divider into the drawer runner groove. Find a common connect point, which is right here. The 
then move this assembly into the mortises in the back rail. I'll delete these two components and just copy the existing unit that's already together. With the Move tool, tap on Control key and pull the copy of this assembly over to the other mortise location. There it is. Now to connect the upper front rail to the drawer divider. I'll use this dado in the lower face of the upper rail and position that over the cutout in the drawer divider. The last piece in this assembly is the lower front rail that also connects to the drawer divider and runner. Move it up closer to position, then find a common point of connection. This completes stage two of the gluing process. Stage three involves insertion of the end drawer runners or kickers. Select these, a pair of these drawer runners. Bring them over to the assembly in stage two. and move them into position. They slide in from the ends as shown in this manipulation. I'll just copy these two end runners or kickers and copy them over to the other end, perform a flip along the red axis and bring them into the, into the assembly and into the groove.
This completes stage three. Now to do the last glue up procedure. Move the end assemblies previously glued up over to the desk. and connect their mortise and tenon joints. Delete the two temporary gluing connectors. Here is the final desk carcass glue up. The assembly is ready for installation of the top and the drawers.